In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this amazing perspective text effect easily in Photoshop. So, let's get started. First of all, select the Rectangle tool. Press left click, so that it opens the dialog box Create Rectangle to set the width and height of the rectangle. Set the width and height of the rectangle as per your requirement. I have set the width and height to 715 pixels and then press enter. So, it opens the properties of the rectangle. In appearance, set fill to no fill and stroke color to white as shown in the video. Now, select the move tool. Align the rectangle using the horizontal and vertical align options as shown in the video. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate the rectangle. Set the width and height as shown in the video. Now, align it with the use of horizontal and vertical align options. We are using these rectangles as a reference so that we can place our text between these two rectangles. Choose the horizontal type tool to write the text. I have chosen Eberma bold font for this project. You can change the size as per your requirement. I have set the size 160. Write the text that you want. Then select the Move tool. Place the text near the rectangle as shown in the video. Now, right-click on the text layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Then hold Alt to make a copy of it. So, hold Alt plus Shift and drag the text as shown in the video. Place it right above the text. Repeat the same process and make four copies of the text as shown in the video. Go to the Layer panel and select all text layers by holding the Shift. Right-click on it and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now, press Ctrl or Command plus T to transform. We have to change the width and height of the text as per our requirement. For this text we need to unlink the width and height proportion. Scale down the height of the text layer as shown in the video. Now, press right-click and choose Skew. Hold Shift plus Alt and drag the corner point inside of the rectangle as shown in the video. Adjust its value as per your requirement. When you are satisfied with your result then hit OK. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate the text layer. Now, press Ctrl or Command plus T to transform. Press right click and choose Rotate to 90 degree clockwise. Place it according to the rectangle as shown in the video. Again, press Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate the text layer. Now, press Ctrl or Command plus T to transform. Press right click and choose Flip Horizontal. Place it according to the rectangle as shown in the video. Duplicate the bottom text layer by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Now, press Ctrl or Command plus T to transform. Press right click and choose Flip Vertical. Place it according to the rectangle as shown in the video. Now, we have set all the text layers to the proper place, so that there is no need for rectangle reference. Click on the layer visibility icon to hide the rectangles. To make this effect more realistic we can apply gradient on this text layer. So, double click on the text layer to open the layer style panel. Select gradient overlay. Set the blend mode to normal, and opacity to 90%. Use style to linear and make sure the angle of the gradient is 90 degree. For gradient color, I have taken hex code FFF for the left side point. For the right side point I have taken 323232. Select the layer and double click on it to open blending options. Select the gradient overlay. Now change the gradient angle to minus 90 degree. Select the layer and double-click on it to open Blending Options. Select the Gradient Overlay. Now change the gradient angle to 0 degree. Select the layer and double-click on it to open Blending Options. Select the Gradient Overlay. Now change the gradient angle to 180 degree. Congratulations guys, we have successfully created this amazing perspective text effect easily. 
If you like the my video then hit like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get a notification on every new video on my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. You can also watch other tutorials on my channel.